Hey guys, it's Jolene from Smith's Nature Friendly Farms. Last year we grew Haas Tools Boule gourds. It looks like Buell gourds, but it, the correct pronunciation is actually Boule. And today I'm going to turn them into birdhouses and show you what we do. So this is the funky, warty, gnarly boule gourd. Super cool gourd to grow. They do have, take a long time to grow though, so you need a bit of a, an extended growing season for these guys. You're looking at about 110 days. And they're super easy. I don't think I did anything to them once they sprouted. I just let them do their thing. They are a trellising gourd, so they need place to climb. And, and other than that, I don't even think I gave them any fertilizer other than what was in the ground. So super easy to grow. And then I let them dry on the vine. So afterwards, and after about a year, these have been sitting for a year, they have become these super dried out, gnarly looking gourds. So we're gonna drill holes in them and turn them into birdhouse houses for us to finish for friends and for the farmers market. For our project today we are going to need a drill with two drill bits. We've got this two inch drill bit to put the hole in for the birds to enter. We've got these drill bits, I don't even know what they're called. Um, they are for drainage. We're going to have some coverage just to put on the outside, never on the inside. And we've got just a little bit of sandpaper to just uh, edge around the sides and then our hooks for the top. Now the opening on this gourd came out quite smooth, but if it didn't, you could also just quickly use your sandpaper and scrape through on the inside, softening it out. So with the hooks on the top, you're able to just take them and with some good strength push them in and start turning and they'll eventually um, move their way into the gourd. If you want an easier way to do it you could pre-drill the hole a bit and then put the hooks in but my husband was able to push them in so we didn't actually do any drilling. Uh, the only difficult part was the stem was a bit high so I had to do the twisting because his hands were too big. So our next step is actually to put some cover on the gourd. You don't necessarily have to do that with this type of gourd. It's a pretty firm gourd. Some of the other gourds we have though are a bit thin and will wear out maybe a bit faster. But I'm going to use this. I'm only using this on the outside and one of the keys here is I want to make sure I don't get any on the inside where the birds might bite at the the edging in here. We want to make sure I'm actually going to try and leave a little bit of space by just shoving in some paper towel and protecting the outside a bit. And the goal here is just to, I want to cover the gourd but I don't really want to um, get it on the outside edge. Okay, that took two hands in order to get it set up right around there. But this essentially will give us more space around the hole so we don't get our spray too close to the hole where the birds may peck at it a little bit. I'm not worried about the outside. I definitely do not spray anything on the inside. I keep it all natural in the event that the birds are pecking on the insides. Typically, I don't usually see bird pecking damage inside our gourds or in our birdhouses, but in general, it's a good idea. If you can find a more organic material to cover this, that would be even better. Okay, the last thing we need to do is put some drainage holes at the bottom. In the event that water gets on the inside, you don't want your little beautiful baby birds drowning, so you want to make sure that there is a way for the water to escape. So I'm just gonna drill a couple of holes, probably three, maybe four on the bottom here. There we go, three little holes in there. Finally, here is the birdhouse with a wire string attached to it. We don't use twine. The twine would rub against the branch and eventually break off. And if you did that with your baby birds inside, obviously wouldn't be a good thing. So we have used a wire string for this guy. So there it is, all complete. So that's the beautiful gourd all done. These are a bunch of other gourds that we've been working on as well. More of the boule gourds and then regular gourds. So make sure that you guys have plans to grow gourds this garden season. Uh, these beautiful big round ones make nice bowls. That one's just ready to be processed. 
So fun to grow, easy to grow, and man, you don't even need to paint them. You can paint them, you could make them into something really pretty, but sometimes just the design that occurs naturally makes them beautiful as it is. So simple craft, great for your birds. Awesome, you guys. Well, have fun, be friendly, be kind.